Hey scientists, let's take a look at the back of your hand. Hmm, a little bit closer. Um, a bit more. Okay, let's get out some magnification to get a better look. Oh my gosh, what are all of those things? They are single-celled microorganisms. Single-celled organisms are living things made up of only one cell. Inside of that one cell, these organisms can perform all of life's processes. Single-celled or unicellular organisms include bacteria like E. coli, some fungi like yeast, and protozoas like amoebas. All of these organisms are very different from each other, but one thing that they all have in common is that every single-celled organism can grow and develop, it can also take in food and use energy, it can move and respond to stimuli in the environment, it can reproduce and make more cells, and they can all excrete waste, all in one cell. That's pretty amazing because you use your whole body to do all of that. That's because you're a multicellular organism, meaning that you're made up of millions of cells that all work together to keep you alive and functioning. Multicellular organisms have a lot of different types of cells that do specific jobs within the organism. To describe this, we use two terms, differentiated, meaning different types of cells look different, and specialized, meaning each different type of cell has its own specific job and role to play for the organism. Let's take a look at some of your differentiated and specialized cells. If we look closely at your skeletal muscles, they're very long and very strong to help you move your bones. But your nerve cells look completely different to send and receive messages. All multicellular organisms have differentiated and specialized cells, from you to horses and bats and from trees to flowers and cacti. Multicellular organisms are much larger than single cell organisms. But unlike single cells, multicellular organisms' cells have very limited contact with the environment. Only the outermost cells of your skin, eyes, mouth, nose, and digestive tract actually touch and interact with the world outside of your body. Food is brought into your body through your mouth and then only touches the outermost layer of the cells in your esophagus, stomach, and intestines. Since only a small portion of your cells come into contact with food, water, and air from the outside environment, your body has transport systems. Transport systems move things from the outer layer of cells to all of the other different cells within a multicellular organism. The oxygen you breathe, the food you eat, and even the water you drink is moved to each individual cell in your body by different transport systems. This allows multicellular organisms to be much larger than single cells, and it helps protect most cells by only exposing a few to harmful things in the environment. Let's pause and take a look at some questions.